Scorpio, March 15th to 21st, star card messages. Let us see. Star card, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Scorpio. <clears throat> You're getting a lot of attention. Or something is going in your community or your school. Um, maybe whatever community you're from, from, whatever community really means to you. You may be standing out. This could be about laundry. Laundry, you hang out online. This could be about what you wear or clothes. This could be about your family or earning your inheritance, Scorpio. People may think they want to be talking about your business, but I do feel like you have a lot going on. You're quite interesting at this time, yeah. You're on your soul-searching journey. You're actually healing from inside out, which is so beautiful. It's so inspiring to na to like many people, like neighboring communities, or people who like do something similar to what it is that you do. There's something about hanging out clothes, but you are you're in alchemy. You're in like an alchemical stage of your life where you're learning from your past and you're turning your burdens to light. And so, because of that, you seem to be lighting up. And you're transforming and you're getting a lot of attention because that you may be working on your money very much, your vision, like your health, um, your education, all of this, your inheritance, your, 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 your stability, that thing. Yeah. So we have some type of a delay that was in your past energy with this hangman card. No, this could be a love energy. Maybe someone, you were about to get married or someone wanted to get married to you, Scorpio. Or someone is dreaming about you. You're also good at telepathy or sending messages. And someone is looking forward to hearing from you. Like, imagine if you and a person are sending telepathic messages and you send them and they send you and you send them and they send you. There's a person that's looking back for a message from you. It's so weird. It's like you're able to jump timelines with this person or something. Or there's someone that is that loves you and is watching you, admiring you. There's something about a father energy to Scorpio. So let's look. Someone is very attracted to you to Scorpio. Despondence. You're you're healing a lot, like with your father, your mother, your childhood. You're here to heal, you know, Scorpio. You're so beautiful. You've been gift you have a lot of gifts and you're in the journey of recovering them. But you're getting a lot of attention. Alright. Some of the stories that you were told you are um replacing with the truth. You're like you're you're a leader, you're a legend, you're a front runner, a real generator, like a first generation something. And you put in a lot of work, okay? You may be dealing with a Capricorn or a police officer. And to be where you are right now, Scorpio, it did, you're a legend. It didn't take a lot. It did. It, I mean, it wasn't easy because you went through rejection and all of these things to still be standing and believing in yourself. Scorpio, you may have even gone through defamation and some type of retrial and having to prove yourself. Okay, but something is over. Yeah, liberation. Like, I feel like glory, wealth, royalty. Yeah, renewal. You're making a lot of money. You could become a movie director, like a real superstar director. But I just see you working in the stars up here. You may be very busy mentally, financially, or, you know, materialistically. You may be doing a lot, putting in a lot of work, but someone else may have wanted your attention. Because I see you working with your hands and then looking down at this person here. Like, what, what are you saying? What did you say? What do you want? What did you say? Not in a rude way, but in a, like... Maybe you're always busy. I'm getting um, like Elon Musk vibration. People that are working with like higher equations of life. Vanity. Wow. So yeah, keep following your heart, Scorpio. You are chosen workaholic. You're doing a lot of work though. Someone wants to take you on a break. Someone wants you to remember yourself, a father energy. Someone maybe wants forgiveness, victim and balance. Someone, yeah, someone is wanting to heal with you. And they want you to feel how they feel about you. You're about to start taking things easy with yourself and allow soothing, comforting energies in your life. Alright? <clears throat> For real, you're about to start trusting the process more. 
and learning how to let go of, of grief and pain and sorrow. And you're about to stop waiting and wasting your energy. You're about to start maybe giving your energy to one main thing or one main person and just allow that good energy. You're about to be more focused upon your path, trusting your heart, and feel you're just going to be surrounded by a lot of love, Scorpio. And in search of your North Star energy too. Spending more time outside and your money is leveling up so much. I feel like that is something that you could keep to yourself a little and just keep keep it in your heart, Scorpio, because you're wealthy, you're so rich. And you have this source of substantial income that will never run out. It's like a, a gift, a magical wand that you put that is with you. <clears throat> You've somehow inherited. perfection yes yeah, someone is wanting to take you away joy you bring joy and light to someone world card someone wants to ask you to marry them with the queen of wands energy and have their youth and start a new life with them on a farm a new journey just say yes just be mine so someone is coming toward you scorpio with a proposal this person may be Gemini or born July. And this person, they love you so much. Or their name is Joy. Or you are the joy of their life. They want to live on a, mount, a hilltop with you. They may want to go surrender with you. They want to be in this, this. Someone loves you so much. And they see you like pregnant or whatever. And a round belly and they're touching it. And someone wants to commit to you to love you. Okay. This is how someone is feeling in their heart. I'm getting a father energy. Conception. Natural conception or natural instincts. This person, they feel like they've been divinely guided to plant seed with you. Just to have a new world, a new chapter with you. Enlightenment and mysticism. So they will devote themselves to it. Uh, okay, this person will love you. They are very strong and confident and physically fit and financially fit. This person will take care of you like you belong to them. Um, okay, and they cannot wait to be with you. This may be the person that is waiting for a signal from you too in some way. This person, they, they love you. They idolize you. They admire you, Scorpio. You lift this person's light energy up you make them feel good and you actually turn this person up and on world card you're the girl of this or, bo or man of this person's dream this person is so very delighted to be with you to love you this could be your current husband or your wife or a mother figure in some way You're like a source of truth for this person. Yeah, this person wants to marry you. Someone is going to propose to you, Scorpio. Someone really wants to marry you, take things to the next level, work with you, align with you, take you to the courts, take you, and then move you away to a hilltop place and you and them live where they will like forever cater to you they will plan food they will make money they will come home to you this i don't know someone just wants to be like your your, your country boy lover one that is for you mama you want to go down to the sea you want to go down to the river what do you want to do mommy papa what do you want to do just you and me i love you i swear this is how someone is feeling scorpio look i'm hearing night nurse by jubilee it's not by jubilee but that's what i heard Okay, we have the magic. So let's see what Jubilee is. Someone is, maybe there's a spell. I'm not going to lie here. Or someone is just feeling bond or tied to someone. Something maybe karmic also. But I just, I feel a spell like the way how someone loves another person. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius too or you need to watch Sagittarius reading. Alright, let's see. What did I just say I heard? I forgot. Let's move on. Magician. King of Diamonds and the Queen of Diamonds. This is for sure your husband. So, someone may be signing papers. Sag um, Sagittarius, okay. Um, Scorpio. Alright. Ace of Diamonds! <gasps> oh my god! This 
is someone's dream come true someone maybe feel like some feeling like someone else is living their dream come true their best life because the three of swords is on the bottom of the deck but without looking at the three of swords any at all the only thing i would say that look a little bit away is the magician and the hierophant but up there's something about schooling or school because a marriage a proposal wealth ah uh, King and queen of diamonds up in this. Loyal partners. A healthy connection. Wow. Someone just wants to love you. Commit to you. There could be a, 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 a baby. Alright. Scorpio. Oh my gosh. You could be inheriting. You're going to be so surprised. This is like your dream coming true. The answer you've always wanted. Oh my gosh, there's something about someone's ex though. You could be cutting ties with some karmic exes. Or that is what someone is asking of you, moving into the future forward. So abundance, uh, someone does not want you to care about whatever being left behind. They want that uh, commitment from you, that word from you too, that vow from you too, beautiful soul. Alright, isolation. Maybe you are in isolation. You're not going to be anymore. Mm -mm. This person may like make a vow to you or some physical gesture to you in public, in front of other people. Like It'll be like so beautiful. Alright, there's also healing for father energies too. And be mindful, use your discernment. Take it easy out there. All is well, all is within you. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Bye.